Bro, why y'all niggas always ask, is this your girl? Nigga, why is you fucking worried about it, nigga? Why is you worried about it, nigga? Alright, man. Yeah, I wanna replace it. Alright. Alright, so. Ah, right, I don't care, bro. I ain't gonna care. I don't care, bro. I don't care, bro. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I know how to do it. I know how to do it, I know how to do it, hold on. Okay. <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> right? Right? W? Alright, alright, look. Alright, so look. <clears throat> Here we go. Alright. So, boom! I'm in high school. And me and one of my homeboys, bro, we, I used to play football. But I hated football, bro. I was a beast. I was official, baby. You know what I'm saying? I was official, I, but I hated football. I had a few offers to go to, like, little D2 colleges. But I didn't even want to go to college, bro. I, I was so tired of school. I, I could care less about football. And I was good, bro. C nigga, I even, I even got invited to, to the little clips and shit, bro. Like, when you walk around the campus and shit, I went there and shit for football, nigga. But I, but I just didn't care about football and, and sports get boring to me real fast. So I told myself, bro, if I don't do shit, and like if I don't, if I don't have no plan after high school, I'm going straight to the army, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I graduated. I graduated, bro, and I graduated in like May, June, or whatever the case may, may be. And then, and, and then by December. I was going to the army. I had dreads and not everything, bro. Matter of fact, matter of fact, uh, let me see, let me see. Let me, let me, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. Hold on, I don't give a fuck about that right now. Cause that ain't me right now. Alright, look. I had dreads and all, bro. I don't care. Look. Look at this right here. I had dreads, bro. <clears throat> I had dreads. All right, so boom. Um, I told myself if I if I ain't had no if I ain't had no plan after high school, bro, I was gonna go straight to the army. You know what I'm saying? So, so um, boom. December come around and I had to get my dreads cut off, and I and I was so hurt. I was so hurt. I know I was, I was a little dusty right there, but what about now? To all you hoe ass niggas, you know what I'm saying? Talking about I was ugly. I was ugly. But now, what's your sister Instagram? <laughs> what is your sister's Instagram? Where your mom's at, nigga? Ha <laughs> ha. Ha ha, nigga. Where your mom's at, nigga? All right, anyway, bro, let me get off topic, all right? All right, look. Let me get off topic. Look, look, look. So, boom, I cut my hair, all right? And December 29th. My mom and them dropped me off at the army recruiting station. My my stepdaddy, bro, he had an ugly ass truck, bro. My stepdaddy had an ugly ass truck, and when when they was going to drop me off at the army recruiting station, right, nigga, I seen how many people was at the army recruiting station, and the, and I was riding in the back of an ugly ass truck. I said, I said, hey, hey, bro, drop me off around the corner right there. <laughs> Drop me off around the corner, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because, bro, the truck was fucking ugly, bro. That shit looked like Mater off the uh, that Disney Channel racing. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, so, um, boom, bro. The nigga got down. I told the nigga to drop me off on the on the side of the building because the nigga the nigga truck was ugly. So I walk up to the shit with my bags, and the the army recruiter told me. He was like, bruh, don't even bring your phone because you won't even be able to use it. Now, granted, I was too poor to even get a phone. I didn't even have a phone. I didn't even have a phone all through high school, bruh. I didn't get my first phone until I was in the Army because I had to pay for it myself, bruh. But the nigga told me, he said, man, leave your phone at home, man. You won't even need it anyway. I didn't have no phone to leave at home. But, nigga, as soon as I stepped foot on that bus, 
to go to basic training, bro, I knew I I knew I made the worst decision of my life. The minute, bro, the minute I walked up, the minute I stepped foot on that bus, bro, I knew I made the worst decision. I knew I, I knew I regretted it off the rip. Nigga, I regretted it off the rip, bro. So, boom, I get on the bus. I get on the bus, and it's an hour and 30-minute drive to from where I was from where I lived to Columbia, bro. You know what I'm saying? I went to Columbia, South Carolina, and I went to Fort Jackson, bro. And and goddamn, as soon as I got there, bro, man, I knew I regretted this shit, bro. I regretted it, and I still regret it to the day, bro. I still I still regret it to this day, bro, because I I wasted four years of my life working for for somebody else when I could have been working for myself like I'm doing right now. So I regret it to this day, bro. You know what I'm saying? But that, but you can't change the past, bro. So anyways, <clears throat> so boom. I get there. Nothing happened that first day. We wake up in the morning. Nigga, we had to go get a haircut. Me, me, I'm thinking, I, I'm thinking like, all right, all right, I just got a fresh haircut, so I ain't going to have to get a haircut from them. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong when I tell you, nigga, them niggas skipped my head back. I had a motherfucking goddamn Stone Cold Steve Austin. I had a Soluminati, bro. They gave everybody straight Soluminatis. They gave everybody straight Soluminatis, bald heads, nigga. I'm talking about everybody, nigga. They don't give a fuck about your hairline. Soluminati, nigga. Come on, so, nigga. So, nigga. I swear. Everybody. Everybody, nigga, I'm walking around with a straight bald head, and I wish I had the picture because I'd show y'all, bro. I wish I had the picture because I'd show y'all, bro. No cap. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can find me a picture real quick. Let me see if I can find a, a picture real quick, bro. Uh, let me see. Let me see, bro. Uh, let me see, bro. Photos. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Veterans Day. Okay, okay, but I, I guess. Oh, look at me. Oh shit. Y'all a flame, bro. Y'all can flame me, bro. Go ahead, bro. Flame away, bro. Peanut ass head, nigga. I know, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But look, though. All right, so, nigga, they giving everybody straight some Illuminatis, right? <laughs> and goddamn. It's just, and, and for what it's worth, some Illuminati, the nigga don't look bad with a ball, with a, with a ball tater, all right? I just want to say that, all right? Um, so, so, boom. Goddamn, I got the I got the goddamn Ray Allen. They gave me the Ray Allen. I, at one point in time, I was officially in the Hall of Fame ball niggas. You know what I'm saying? I was with them. <clears throat> and, <clears throat> and so, <clears throat> hold on. Appreciate the sub, TB. <clears throat> so, Boom, they gave us the Ray Allen the very next day. It was on. We woke up, nigga, and they rushed everybody. They rushed everybody to the buses, bro. Get all your shit. You know what I'm saying? Get all your shit. They rushed everybody to the to the buses. 
rewind a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Rewind a little bit the night before. Nigga, the, the rooms we were staying in didn't even have no fucking heat, nigga. It was straight cold in there. It was December 30th, nigga. I was there like when when the clock hit 12, I wasn't even able to celebrate, bruh. I wasn't even able, able to celebrate. Now, y'all remember when I told y'all the Army Recruiter, nigga. Matter of fact, fuck that, nigga. Army Recruiter, nigga. If you ever watching this, fuck you, bruh. No cap. Because you told me not to bring my phone. And even though I didn't have a phone, I would at least got a little, a little flip phone before I left. You know? <clears throat> but since you told me not to bring a phone, nigga, I ain't bring a phone. Tell me why that night, everybody and their mama was on their phone. Everybody and their mama was on their phone. Me, I'm sitting there not having no phone. I'm sitting there looking at everybody, talk to their bitches, talk to their mamas, talk to their homeboys and shit. Even though I got a bald head, you know what I'm saying, it's a little cold, I, I, that hurt me. You know what I'm saying, because I, I didn't get to say my final goodbyes and things of that nature. You know, so boom. So boom, I asked this little white dude, I said, hey man, can I, can I use your phone real quick to call my mama? And so boom, he was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying, you can use my phone or whatever. He gave me the phone, and I had wrote my mama number down on a little piece of paper, and I had that bitch in my pocket whole time, right? So... I call my mom. I say, "Mom, <clears throat> I don't think this for me, bro. I, 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 I can, I can feel it." I was like, "Mom, I can feel it, and this ain't for me." My mama said, and I quote, "Bro, stop being a bitch, bro. You been there for a day. <laughs> stop being a bitch, bro." I say, "Word, <laughs> word. <laughs> you just gonna like word, I'm a, word though." <laughs> Word though. Uh, I say okay. You know what I'm saying? I gave my dog his phone. Now, rewind a little bit more. I had a girlfriend, bro. I, I had a girlfriend and my dumb ass thinking, oh baby, you know what I'm saying? I, you gonna, I know you're gonna hold me down, you know what I'm saying? Woody woo, cause you love me, you know what I'm saying, things of that nature. Oh, we gonna get we gonna get to that <clears throat> in a few seconds, alright? So boom. Fast forward, we get on a bus, nigga, and they say, put your motherfucking hands on your rucksack and don't peep, don't do nothing. They say, man, the whole bus ride, we sitting, we sitting with our head down like this right here so that we couldn't see where we was going. Nigga, the bus stop, they say, get the fuck off my bus. Nigga, they, man, they yelling at me and, you know, I don't, I don't take kindly to nobody yelling at me, bro, because I got a problem with authority. You know what I'm saying? I got a problem with authority. So they yelling at everybody, bro. They throw us off the bus. They line us up, bro. And nigga, we all sitting right here with bald heads. Nigga, like, looking up, like, we all looking up. Like, why they yelling at us? And we all got on bald heads. And so, uh, <laughs> and so, beside me, bro, it was a bit LeBron ass nigga, bro. No cap. He like 6'8. He built just like LeBron, bro. And so, you know what I'm saying? When you first get there, they got to, <clears throat> when you first get there, they got to, like, pretty much test you and see, like, who who a hoe, you know what I'm saying, and who soft and who weak type shit. So they going, they going down the line yelling in motherfuckers' faces, spitting in motherfuckers' faces and things of that nature. And, and, um, they, they going through yelling at people and shit, right? So they get to the LeBron, nigga. I'm sitting here standing straight up, bro. I ain't trying to look at nobody. And they get to him. He right beside me. You know what I'm saying? And they get to him. And it's a little, little drill sergeant. He wasn't no taller than 5'8", bro. This dude, 6'8", bro. So he, the, little, the, little, the little drill sergeant, he yelling at the 6'8", LeBron, nigga. Who the fuck you think you is? You think just because you big, I won't knock your motherfucking ass out? Nigga, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? He yelling at him. He yelling at him. And I'm sitting here trying not to laugh. Because I look all right. I look... I look up at this nigga and he crying. Hey, look, I'm sitting here laughing like a motherfucker because it's like, this nigga is crying right now, bro. Like, since 8, 240. Since 8, 240. Nigga, he's sitting here crying. He talking about, ooh, ooh, like, I'm talking about like, like crying. I'm sitting here, I say, man, if you would shut your big ass up, bro. And he seen one of the little sergeants, the little, the little, little dude that was yelling, he seen me laughing. Yeah, he like, what the fuck you laughing at? And you know what I'm saying? Who the fuck you think you is, Woody Woo? And I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even saying that. I'm trying to hold my laugh. I'm like, 
You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying that. I ain't even trying to look at him. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, matter of fact, drop down and give me 10. You know what I'm saying? So I drop down. I boom, 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 boom. I knock them motherfuckers out. You know what I'm saying? I get back up. He said, I can already tell him I have a problem out of you. Dennis. <laughs> he said, I already, I already can tell him I'm going to have a problem out of you. Dennis, you're going to have a long two motherfucking months. He said, you're going to have a long two motherfucking months. And that was absolutely correct. I had a long two months. Now look, um, I I was getting in trouble a lot because like I like to do things my own way. Alright? So they gave us a little a little camelback. A camelback is a is a is a water sack on your back. That got a little tube around that motherfucker so that when you get thirsty, all you got to do is put, pull that motherfucker up right here, pause, and <laughs> start, got, you know what I'm saying, get you a little drink or two. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate yeah. the sub for three months, 864, you already know what the fuck going on. Man. So look, so they gave us a Camelback, they gave us some iPro. Y'all niggas don't know what iPro is, it's some glasses. Okay? Me... You know what I'm saying? Me being from where I'm from, I like the label shit that's mine. So what I do, nigga, I took a sharpie and I and I start like graffitiing all on my shit. Everything that was mine, I was drawing on it. I right? I'm drawing on everything. I'm drawing a Superman logo on my on my Camelback. I'm drawing real city height shit on my uh, on my iPro. I'm putting the hood on my glasses, nigga. I'm doing everything, bro. I'm doing everything, smiley and they face. didn't really take smiley kindly face. to that. Smiley face. You know what I'm saying? They didn't take kindly to that. You know what I'm saying? So, so I was getting in trouble over stupid shit, bro. Like, like whenever we would go to eat lunch, I would motherfucking take some Kool Aid packs and pour it in the back of my water sack so that I have Kool Aid coming out my backpack instead of water, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm just doing a whole bunch of shit that I would get was getting in trouble for. And they didn't really fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? You, is your rage in here? Oh, no, nah, your rage not in here. So, so um, I was just doing a whole bunch of, like, dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? But eventually, they became to the point where, like, all right, Dennis going to do whatever Dennis want to do regardless. So, we need to really stop, like, yelling at him because I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I had already made my mind up that I had made the biggest mistake in my life by even joining this bitch. So, I could care less about what y'all niggas had to say. All right, so, boom. So, boom. About a month in, about a month in, I had got my first letter, okay? And the letter was from, was from my girlfriend, bro. The letter was from my girlfriend. And the letter said a little something like this. It went a little something like this, chat. Don't worry. I found out about the little bitch you was fucking. It's cool. Cause it was so it like, you know what I'm saying? She was like, she was like, it's cool. Cause and don't even try to lie. The bitch sent me the she sent me screenshots. And things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? So ain't need no point in lying. You caught, it's over. And I'm in an army, nigga. I am sitting here going crazy. I'm like, baby, don't leave. Not when I need you the most. Don't leave, though. You know what I'm saying? Please. Please don't leave me, bruh. I'm hurt. My heart was hurt. My heart was crushed. <laughs> My heart was crushed. You know what I'm saying? She was a little nice, little light skin too, bro. I'm not even gonna cap. She was a nice, little light skin, light skin. So, fast forward, man. The whole time, I'm pitiful. I'm sad. I'm depressed. I had a little notebook. I bought a little notebook from the store, nigga. I'm writing, um, rich homie coin. I'm, I'm, I, nah, I ain't know. Bro, I wave went out back then. This was 2014, bro. I'm writing Rich Homie Corn lyrics on the back of my notepad, nigga. Y'all know who Rich Homie Corn is? If you don't know who Rich Homie Corn is, you a whole fucking L. You know what I'm saying, nigga? I'm like, uh, uh, what was that song? What was, this is the song. Hey, I'm gonna tell, hey, this is the song, chat. Hold on real quick. Hey, this is the song, bro. Uh, uh, don't, uh, you, uh, 
Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. This, this is it right here. And this is a song I was writing on the back of her shit. I wrote on the yeah, back of my shit. Apple when Apple I found out that Apple Apple my, my girl left me, you know what I'm saying, Apple while I was in the Apple. army, you know what I'm saying. And, and this is a song right here, look. And I wrote the whole song on the, in my notepad, word for word, because I was singing it every day. Hey, hey, I'm telling you, hey, I'm telling you, nigga, I'm writing the whole fucking song, nigga. I'm writing the whole song, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You can't judge her. And if nigga, you know what I'm saying? I'm nigga, whole song. So boom. So boom. Goddamn, I'm writing all the songs. Like even love songs, bro, because I was hurt. Like I say, that really hurt me. Cause you know what I'm saying? My motivation for being in there was it's alright, cause I'm making a better life for me and my old my, my girl. You know what I'm saying? I was a cheese head back then. I did not know no better. I did not know that these bitches ain't shit. They'll fuck your homeboy, they'll take your money, they'll take off running, where the fuck she going, these bitches ain't shit. I did not know that at the time of my life, so, you know what I'm saying, I, I did not know that. So, the whole time I was using that, I thought I was finna be all lovey-dovey, you know what I'm saying. So, whole time I'm saying, I get through, I get through basic training, okay, I get through basic training, and as soon as basic, hold on. Fat, rewind, rewind. So when I was when I was there, when I was in basic training, I met some niggas that I will never forget the rest of my life. Shout out my nigga Dirty Irv. Shout out my nigga uh, Chris. Not AMP Chris. It was another Chris. A little light skinned nigga. Shout out my nigga Will from the motherfucking boot. Hey, look. And I was the fourth member. You know what I'm saying? We called ourselves the U-shape because our beds was in a U-shape. You know what I'm saying? Just some little corny shit, but shout out to them dogs. Shout out to them boys because they got me through one of the hardest times of my life. I still talk to them to this day, though. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, shout out to my boy Dirty Irv, baby. And my boy Will from the boo and light skinned Chris. You know what I'm saying? Now, listen. I met some niggas I'd never, I, I'd never forget, bro. All right? Speaking of niggas, bro, it was a... It was, it was different kinds. It was different type of individuals. You know what I'm saying? And this one dude stuck out. And his name was Gutierre. Okay, nigga. Last name was Gutierre. This nigga was more clumsy than Davis. I've never met a more clumsy nigga than Gutierre. Alright? So, Gutierre was a walking L in every which way. Alright? He was, he was getting in trouble for more than me and shit. Like, like one time... Nigga, we in basic training, and it's snowing hard as hell. It's snowing hard as hell, and, and you know what I'm saying? When you first get up in the morning, you got to hurry up and go outside and get lined up before the drill sergeants and shit come out there. So one day it's snowing, nigga, we all lined up, and if everybody knocked out there, one person don't just get in trouble, nigga, the whole platoon get in trouble. So, nigga, everybody out there, nigga, you know what I'm saying? It's snowing, it's cold as fuck, it's windy as fuck. It's like 6 in the morning, nigga. Everybody out there like this. And all I hear is, where the fuck is Gutierrez? Nigga, where the fuck is Gutierrez at? Nigga, the whole everybody quiet. Nigga, everybody quiet. Nigga, Guti, nigga, nigga, everybody quiet, nigga. Out of nowhere, we look, we look, at, we look at the barracks. This nigga walk, he running out the door. He done fell in the snow. <laughs> This nigga run outside, he done fell in the snow. He got one boot on, one boot in his arm, his head all fucked up, nigga. He, he running, he falling in the snow. And I already knew, I'm like, fuck, we finna have to do push-ups and everything. All right? We had to do push-ups and everything. This how fucked up the nigga was. All right, so look, fast forward, bro, back to the last day of basic training. You know what I'm saying? I'm walking, you know what I'm saying? I'm feeling good. I got I got a few racks saved up because I haven't been able to spend my money. So I'm like, shit, Gutierre, come to the ATM with me. You know what I'm saying? What's going to make us feel better is when we look at our bank account and we see how much money in there, nigga. So boom, you know what I'm saying? 
I got them typing in my little phone numbers, boop, 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 and got them, I checked my bank account, I got it. I got a few bands in there. This is more than I ever had in my life. I got a few bands in there. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling good. You know what I'm saying? I say, shit, Gutierrez, check your shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know you finna, you know what I'm saying? You finna go, go crazy. You finna go ballistic. It's wrong. This nigga Gutierrez mama done took everything, got his shit, and been paying her bills with it. <laughs> look, this nigga, look, this nigga Gutierrez mama was spending his check while he was in, the, in basic training. Nigga, when I tell you I'm sitting here crying, I'm on my back crying laughing because this nigga is dead broke. <laughs> and I know it ain't funny, but it's like, it's funny, you know what I'm saying? It, it ain't, but it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting here crying. Because the whole time, two months straight, he been grinding, working his ass off only for his mama to be out paying her light bill and shit. I mean, I'm crying. So, to the day, I, I never have talked to Gutierre ever again. I don't know what he doing. Gutierre, if you out there, my boy, if you ever see this, hope all is well. I miss you. You know what I'm saying? Let's link up sometime, buddy. But I haven't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, look. And man, L mama, you know what I'm saying? Look, like I said, I don't know what they had going on at home. Maybe there was a um, maybe there was an agreement that they had prior to him arriving, but you never know, all right? Um, so boom. I, I leave South Carolina and I go to Virginia. Alright? Nothing happened in Virginia that was exciting. Nothing. I just went to school to learn how to do my job. That was it, that was all. Alright, fast forward, bro. Oh, my bad. Rewind a little bit. So, right after basic training, I bought me a phone. My first iPhone, the iPhone 5. Gas. First, first. Uh, as soon as I got out, I go buy me an iPhone. First phone I ever had in my life, an iPhone 5. Alright, so, boom. I get on my Facebook, right? I get on my Facebook at the time. Facebook was rocking. Alright, I get on my Facebook and nigga, I got so many D, I got so many inboxes from so many people, bro. You know what I'm saying? And to be honest, the first person I went to was the girl, my, was my girl, was my ex, bro. The first person that 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 message I went to was my ex, and and my birthday had passed while I was in the army, and she had told me, you know what I'm saying, happy birthday, I miss you, you know what I'm saying, things of that nature. So I ain't gonna lie, I missed her as well, chat. You know, I miss her as well. So with that being said, I shot my shot again, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, I just want to let you know I apologize. You know what I'm saying? I really didn't even mean to hurt you. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even think we were going to go this far. But now that we did, you know, I appreciate you telling me happy birthday. And you know what I'm saying? If you would give me another chance, I'd be greatly appreciated. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't really mean to hurt you. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really, you know what I'm saying, mean to desert you like that. You know? And you know what I'm saying? With me hurting you, that hurt me. You know, you know what I'm saying? So get back at me and like, you know what I'm saying? It didn't work. It didn't work. You know what I'm saying? She called me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm asking a nigga, you know what I'm saying? I'm asking her like, I'm like, shit, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? But shit, you don't fuck any other niggas. You know what I'm saying? And she was like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I mean, shit, I've been, I've been, I've been talking and, you know what I'm saying? I, I talked to somebody, you know what I'm saying? But shit. To be honest, I've been thinking about you the whole time. I shit, I even called you. I even called him your name one time and he got mad at me. You know what I'm saying? So, and I'm like, shit, goddamn whole time she was lying, whole time she been fucking and shit. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I was new to the game. I I didn't know no better. You know what I'm saying? I'm new to the game. I didn't know no better. Alright? So, boom, me and her get back together, you know what I'm saying? So I went from South Carolina to Look, I went from South Carolina, then I went to Virginia. Nothing happened in Virginia, and these niggas gonna have the fucking audacity to send me all the way to fucking Germany, nigga. I, nigga, they sent me to fucking Germany, nigga. I'm from I'm from City I'm from City Heights, and I'm from D Block. Then I ain't never thought about going no fucking Germany. Nigga, I ain't never thought about going to Germany, nigga. They tell me I'm going to Germany, nigga. All I could think about was Hitler, nigga. I swear to God. All I could think about was Hitler, nigga. So, boom, that was my first time getting on a plane and everything, bro. You know what I'm saying? I get on a plane to Germany, 
it's a it's a like a nine hour flight, thirteen hour flight, somewhere in between there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's somewhere in between there, and I finally I finally get to Germany, and it's one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. One of the, one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. Except for y'all niggas mamas, bro. Where your mom is? Nigga, nah, chill. Hey, look. So, hey, look. I, that was just a joke. That was just a joke. Listen, 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 look. So, boom. I get to Germany, and I was immediately homesick. I get to Germany, and I was immediately homesick, bro. I, I'm sitting there in a in another, another country um, seven hours ahead of all my homeboys, and like, when it's when it's seven p.m. in Germany, it's twelve p.m. in in the United States on the East Coast, and nigga, sometimes, bro, I was really depressed, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. That was probably the one and only time that I felt like, bro, I can't do this, bro. Like I was depressed, chat. I was I was depressed, bro. I was homesick, bro. I miss my mama, nigga. I miss my dogs, bro. I miss my brothers, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and every night, I be having to get on Facebook and shit. I see my dogs out. They in the streets. They fucking bitches. They having a blast. Meanwhile, I'm in Germany, bro. On the other side of the fucking world. In my room. With the lights off. Looking at the fucking wall, bro. You know what I'm saying? I had some red beats on, bro. I, I had some red beats. And that was when I first started listening to Kevin Gates. So, you know what I'm saying, <clears throat> I was homesick and I was a little depressed, nigga, at that point, that, that's when I started trying to figure out ways how to get out the army. I start trying to figure out ways how to get out the army, chat, Could you, can you blame me? What would you have done if you depressed and you homesick and you, and you know what I'm saying? So, boom, <clears throat> I'm in Germany. I'm waking up at 5 in the morning, going to work out. Get done at 6 in the morning. Got to take a shower, eat, put on my work clothes. I got to be to work at 9 a.m. sharp. <clears throat> I get off for lunch break at 11.30. From 11.30 to 1 is my lunch break. I wasn't even eating. I was going to take me a little nap. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't sleep either. You know what I'm saying? Because I was sad and I was depressed, chat. And so it was really fucking with my, you know what I'm saying, my my norm, bro. I couldn't sleep and shit, bro. I was really goddamn ready to get the fuck up out of there, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, boom. After 1 o'clock, I worked from 1 to 5. And then after 5 o'clock, I was off work. But still, even when I got off work, bro, I was just sitting there in my room alone. <laughs> I was sitting there in my room alone, bro. You know what I'm saying? Doing absolutely nothing except staring at the wall. That's when I went and bought me a PS4. <laughs> that is when I that is when I went and bought me a PS4. And I start playing a little bit 2K15, bro. I start playing 2K15. You know what I'm saying? Um me and my I used to me and my brother used to play 2K15, bro, all night. Um at the park. I used to bust niggas' ass in 2K15. That's when I fell in love with the park and 2K and shit. Fast forward and shit. That's when I started trying to figure out ways how to get kicked out the army, bro. Because I couldn't do this shit no more, bro. I couldn't do it no more, Shut bro. Your bitch ass up Appreciate that sub. Aim you high. Myself, you may Shut your bitch home. ass up before I come. Fuck you, aim. Appreciate the sub, brother. Um, with your man ain't sandwich eating ass. But anyways. <clears throat> so, at first... I thought I was like I was trying to find weed. I was trying to find weed around Germany. So I was like taking taxi cabs downtown Germany, walking around asking niggas, "Hey, y'all got some weed?" <laughs> nigga, I start walking around downtown Germany asking motherfuckers, "Shit, y'all got some weed, bro?" Nigga, I was finna straight goddamn blow, nigga. I was finna straight blow, walking that bitch blowing, so they can be like, bro, that's that weed. I'll be like, hell yeah, nigga, this weed. They'll be like, bro, you gotta get. Get the fuck out. You gotta go home. You going to jail. Nigga, I ain't give a fuck what was happening to me. As long as I was getting out of the army, I could care less, bro. 
I couldn't find no weed. So my next my next step was like not going to work and shit. So nigga, I, I start I start missing workouts. Nigga, I start showing up at work late. And goddamn, I start like disobeying shit that that, that, that them niggas was telling me to do. Like, boom. Like, like I, the dude that was over me at work, the dude that I was that was in charge at work. I'm goddamn appreciate the sub chill, Dre. YT. <clears throat> Real talk, facts. <clears throat> so look, the dude that was over me at work one day, right? I'm sitting here on my phone, nigga. I don't give a fuck. I ain't doing no work, no nothing. Rage talking about you was a thought since the army. Bitch! Bruh, I, bruh, I, bruh, real quick pause from the story time, bruh. This nigga Rage just texted me and said I, I was a thot since the army. Nigga, nigga, I seen a, matter of fact, look, I, nigga, look at this chat. This nigga Rage talking about I'm a thot? Bruh, watch this. You can literally hear, hear the female's mouth. <laughs> this nigga better not ever fucking come out his mouth. This nigga better not ever come out his fucking mouth again and call me a fucking thot, bruh. Nigga better not never. This nigga better not never come out his mouth again and call me a fucking thot? You're a thought, bruh. <clears throat> this nigga raised your thought, bruh. Alright, anyways, back to my fucking story. You fucking whore. <laughs> Listen. Alright, so look, boom. The, the, the nigga that was superior to me at the office. Nigga, I, I, I go downstairs, bruh. And I'm on my phone the whole time, bruh. Nigga, right, nigga, I was in a bad mood. I ain't feel like doing that, so I wasn't gonna do nothing, bruh. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't gonna do nothing, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I'm on my phone, and he was a little—he was a little Hispanic dude. So he like, Dennis, get off your phone. And I'm like, bro, hold on, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking to somebody, bro. You know what I'm saying? He like, Dennis, get off your phone. I say, bro, chill, nigga, hold on. This nigga say, G get off your phone, or I'ma take your phone for 24 hours. <laughs> he say, get off your phone. Or I'm going to take it for 24 hours. <sighs> Nigga thought he was finna take my phone. Of me, a grown ass man. Nigga thought he was finna let. Nigga thought I was finna let him take my phone. <laughs> Nigga done bumped this motherfucking head, bro. I say, bro, look. It's just me and you down here, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got nothing got a problem with me, bro. We can handle this shit right here. Ain't nobody over here, so ain't no need for you to try to act hard. You know what I'm saying? Try to little boy me in front of nobody. Because, nigga, we ain't in front of nobody. Ain't no way I'm finna let you take my phone. 
for 24 hours, you don't bump your goddamn head, Sergeant Toro. <laughs> no cap. Ain't no way, ain't no way you finna take my phone, bro. He didn't take my phone either. So ever since then, you know what I'm saying, me and him had a mutual understanding. Like, bro, you can't talk to me any kind of way you want to, bro. I'm a grown ass man. I'm here to work, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Straight business. So, anyways, I kept doing little small shit to try to get in trouble so I can get kicked out of the army. So one day, nigga, one day I didn't even. One day I didn't even go to workouts. I went to work at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, nigga. I, I didn't go to work at 9. I stayed in my room at lunch. I went to work at 1 o'clock. So I, 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 go to, I go in the office at 1 o'clock, and ain't nobody there. I go in the office at 1 o'clock, and ain't nobody there, chat. So I'm like, shit, I'm kind of sleepy still, so I'm finna, I'm finna lock the door and take a, and take a nap under my desk. <laughs> I said, I'm going to take a nap under my desk, bro. So I took a little nap under my desk, right? I took a nap under my desk, and out of nowhere, nigga, I heard the door open. Bro, I ho I heard the door open, bro. I my dumb ass forgot to lock the door. So, so I'm sitting here under my desk, bro, and people in my office walking around. I'm under my desk, bro. Hi. I like... <clears throat> All I can, all I can hear them saying, bro. Y'all heard the story, yeah. Y'all heard this part, nigga. The only thing I can hear was, "Where's Dennis?" You know what I'm saying? "Where's Dennis?" Nigga, I, I see that, I see they boots walking around and shit. Nigga, I'm under the desk, like fuck. You know what I'm saying? Luckily, I wasn't under my desk. I was under one of the spare desks. You know what I'm saying? To the left. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I was a little smart. I went all the way small to little smart. You know what I'm saying? So luckily, I wasn't under my desk. I was. Under one of the spare desks, so nigga, I I was thinking that they was gonna see that nobody was there. I was thinking they was gonna see that nobody was there, and they was gonna goddamn leave, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all remember this? Fast, then I speed it up. End of the story, bro. The niggas end up leaving, and you know what I'm saying? I ain't get in trouble. You know what I'm saying? For next game, on strong. Anyways, bro. So this is the most important part. One day I decided not. Man, I was man. I've been feeling pain. I've been feeling pain for so long. Nigga, I ain't even go to work one day, nigga. I went, I, I just, I was just walking around the army base, bruh. Fuck work, fuck workouts. I, I was walking around, I was walking around the army base, nigga, just, just to be walking, bruh. So, appreciate the sub, DB uh, Fargo. Nigga, I get a phone call saying, Dennis, what the, what the fuck you at? I say, shit, Sergeant, I'm walking around right now. You know, so I'm walking back from the store. He said, man, bring your ass in my office right now. <clears throat> Me, personally, I could have gave a rat's ass that he was highly upset. I don't give a fuck, bitch. I'm trying to get kicked out anyway. You know what I'm saying? Now, this wasn't the regular sergeant that called me, bro. This was the fucking top of the fucking top, bro. First Sergeant Kane, bro. I would never forget First Sergeant Kane ever. Because he was a mean son of a bitch, bro. He was a mean white dude, bro. Hello? Um, uh, go park in the parking lot behind, like, directly behind you. I bet. Um, so, nigga, boom, first sergeant Kane called me. Dennis, PLC Dennis, what the fuck, where, where are you at? You know what I'm saying? Man, we got people, man, we got people, you know what I'm saying, at the supply office looking for you, man. And I'm like, listen, bro, I'm on my way back. <clears throat> I say, I'm on my way back. I'm walking back from the store. He said, man, will you get your ass up to my office right now? So I'm like, all right, cool. I didn't, like I said, I don't give a fuck because I want to get in trouble anyway, bro. Appreciate that, uh, sub, Sally, Zally, whatever your name is. So, boom. No, my voice didn't fucking change, ass white. Did it? Bro, mind your business, bro. That's a, that's, a, bro, whoever said that, mind your fucking business, bro. So, anyways, bro. <clears throat> But that, bro, bro, that's not even no girl, bro. Fuck is you talking about, bro? So, anyways, bro, boom, I get up, man. Look, I've been waiting to have this conversation with First Sergeant Kane for about six months now. So I walk upstairs, I walk in his office. He say, "Close the fucking door, bro." He say, "Close the door, PFC Dennis." I close the door. Hold on, real quick. Look, I close the door. Look, 
I closed the door and I was standing just like this right here. I'm standing just like this right here. I closed the door and he started talking to me. Man, what the hell, what the hell is your problem? That's what he said. He said, man, what the hell is your problem? Man, I will send your motherfucking ass home. Why the fuck haven't you been at work all day, bro? You got people calling me, asking me where you been at. You know what I'm saying? Where the fuck have you been? He's, and then he say, he ended up by saying, man, do you, man, matter of fact, I will send your ass back to your mama. Is that what you want? Is that what you want, Dennis? I said, yes. Please send me fucking home. I've been trying to get sent home the whole fucking time. Can't y'all tell? Yes. Send me home right now. Today. Please. And his whole demeanor changed. He said, for real? Dan, you want me to send you home for real? He said, man, you don't want that. He said, Dennis, you don't want that, bro. He said, if I send you home, man, you ain't never going to be able to get another job a day in your life. You don't want that, man. You might go to jail. I said, to be honest, first song came, I don't even care. <laughs> I don't even care. Shit, I, I go home, I'm going to make money somehow. I hate them streets, bitch. Um... I said, I don't even care, to be honest, man. I just want to go home, man. The Army ain't for me. Um, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, bro. And he said, Dennis, man, I just want to talk to you, man. I was feeling the same way. You, you know what I'm saying? I was feeling the same way you was. And I stuck. <clears throat> hey. Oh, I bet. Goddamn. Uh, I'm finna goddamn come right now. I bet. My 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 homeboy uh at the door, bro. So I, I gotta wrap this up, bro. Um, no, now listen though, listen though. Hey, look, and this and this gonna be a part one, bro. The nigga ended up saying, <clears throat> man, like you don't want to get kicked out the army, bro. You know what I'm saying? Whoop de whoop, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas is some fucking ops, bro. I swear to God, y'all niggas some fucking ops, bro. Y'all niggas some fucking ops, bro. I swear to fucking God, bro. Y'all, y'all some aim op. All y'all niggas some ops, nigga. Cause what the fuck, bro? Bro, chat. Y'all niggas some fucking ale, bro. I swear, y'all niggas some fucking ale, bro. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas supposed to be on my motherfucking side and shit. Instead, y'all niggas got them. We hear her voice, nigga. Ignore it, nigga. Fuck is you talking about, bro? Ignore the shit, nigga. The fuck, bro? Let's see. I'm getting off, bro. Y'all niggas got them. I'm getting off, bro. Y'all niggas, bro. Nigga. Love y'all niggas, bro.